What is up, Internet Land? Zachmus Prime, aka Zachmus Prime, here with another Transformers video review. Today, the figure that we're taking a look at is the uh, Transformers Legacy Evolution, whatever that is this time, Core Class Bomb Burst. And this is. Yeah, well. This is um, <clears throat> the next in their line of. Uh, doing all of the uh, pretenders but not exactly you know being real um, consistent about the size of the pretenders or um, whether they're doing the pretender cores you know, like the actual robots or the present pretender shells this one is the pretender shell I guess nobody cares about the uh, pretender cores unless it's you know metal hawk but yeah, so he turns into um, a bat thing. Um, actually, honestly, he more reminds me of um, oh, what was that line? It came out in the eighties. It was just like little, like two or maybe three POA figures that were about this big. And they had a rub sign on them. They were all like robotic animal things, and they had a rub sign on them. <sighs> and I don't remember what it is, and it's going to bug me until I figure it out. But he actually kind of reminds me of one of those. Just put like a big old rub sign right here on his chest. That would be awesome. But yeah, so there he is. Um, he's all right. As far as core class figures go, he's all right. He's got ankle articulation. That's something. So that way you know he's a quality figure. Um, in terms of accessories... Oh, come on. Stand up, you little... In terms of accessories, he comes with two of these um, blaster thingamajigs. You can plug them into his forearms. I actually generally plug them into the other forearms. This one shows this little uh, wing detail up here. You can I want to say that you're supposed to be able to put the wing detail so that it looks like wings behind them, but there's really no way to attach it that way. You can go in and sort of attach it the other way around if you want to like tilt them forward. No, 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 this way around. But then you don't get to see the wings either. Like, you can... Oh, <laughs> spoiler alert. Where did, oh, it's on his arm. Hello. Jeez. Where, where did it go? Oh, it's right there on his arm. Like, you can do something like this, but, like, that's not really that good looking, to be honest. I don't know, just that these are really conspicuous, like, 5mm pegs, and they don't do anything. Unless I am really missing something. But, yeah, I would have thought that there would be a way to display it so that the, like, these wing details would actually show up as wings on him. Because I think that'd be pretty cool, actually. You know, like so. But no, there's there's no way to do that. Wow. But anyhow, yeah, you can peg him onto his forearms, or he can hold them in his fists like they're big old, like, chopping axes. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Yeah. Watcha, 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 watcha. And speaking of axes, that's also his other accessory is this like doohickey axe. Or maybe it's a wrench. It kind of does look like a, you know, like a Cybertronian pipe wrench if you hold it this way. But it also looks like a weird stylized like hatchety axe if you hold it this way. So who even knows? I don't. Not me. But 
that's about all I got on this guy. In terms of articulation, his head is on a joint of some sort. Mm, I think, believe it's just a peg joint. It goes only that far. He looks like he's got an opening jaw, but this upper part of his head doesn't move at all. His arm goes all the way around and goes out to the side for most of a tree pose. One thing i got to point out is that there's a little peg here. There's a little peg in his armpit. And that's for lining up this arm, kind of, in vehicle mode. But as a result of it, you can't really, if you bring his arm forward, you can't really bring it out. So if you want to bring his arm out, it has to be like this, and then you can rotate it at the ball joint elbow, which is another piece of articulation that I could talk about. He also has a waist joint. Like, go that far forward, go that far back. Go out for uh, most of a Van Dam. 90 degrees of bend on his knee. Ankle will go forwards and back. Tilt. And you can open and close his foot slightly. Oh, and you can hyperextend it if you want to, like, really have trouble posing him. Standing him up. And that's, that's all we got for him. So to get this guy transformed, what you want to do is start with this. Do hickey back here and just kind of chunk it up into place. This big old tab will fit into the back of his skull. His ears will kind of stick into these little notches. And then you can take this guy here and it plugs in like so. Just like that. And you can turn his waist around, close up his foot. These tabs in the back of his legs will fit into these slots on his chest. This will do a completely half-assed attempt at covering up his face. And then, like I mentioned, the notches that the arms fit into, they don't lock into place. They're still going to wiggle all around. But there is a notch on that arm. And there is a peg like a little tab and that's kind of where it goes more or less and that that is what you get is kind of cool like little starfighter looking ship weird that his cockpit is a completely separate piece but like there's no way of it doesn't it doesn't open or anything like that it just made it a separate piece so that it would be easier to paint it i guess and then they glued it in. I see the glue residue. But, yep, that's all you get on this guy. And he's got little guns that are bluish compatible. And on the back as well, I guess. And that's about it. Um, if you want to, you can take and tilt his, uh, his wings down like this. So he's got like a little bit more of like a... I don't know wing commander vibe to him or something but yeah that's about all that there is to it uh bomb burst he's okay that's all i have to say about it um if you made it this far into the video thank you for watching you are fantastic everybody stay awesome and be good to each other see ya bye